Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. I think this is the first vlog that I'm posting this year and this vlog is going to be mostly about the behind the scenes of my shop and any other crafts that I'm doing. I'm going to show you how I prepare the stationary grab bags and how I pack orders from my shop. If you didn't know, I have a coffee shop. The link is in the description down below where I sell stationary and washi safe samples, grab bags, digital stickers and my Pantone cards. So if you're interested in that, the link is in the description below. And this vlog is going to be all about that. But before I move on with the vlog, this video is sponsored by Anna Luisa. I collaborated with them in the past. They are a jewelry brand that creates high quality and very elegant pieces. I'm wearing two of them. This one is the one that I got from the last time that I collaborated with them. I love their pieces because they are so simple and elegant and they kind of match my alternative girly style. So I love collaborating with them. They are carbon neutral, so everything from the packaging to the actual pieces is with their impact on the planet in mind. They just launched their personality pendants collection featuring six unique designs, earth, water, air, fire, light, and spirit, which is the one that I'm wearing here. It has a protective spiritual eye and the moon and sparkles and matches pretty well with my personality and you will find the pendant that matches yours if you check the link below and use my code CATSPLANNER20 for 20% off. These pendants actually have like a vintage finish to them and you can find everything that I'm wearing in Anna Louise's website in the description below. I got this cute little butterfly from Anna Louise. It's so simple and so small, but it's so cute. I love it so much. And I also got this letter D in gold that is for my boyfriend because his name starts with a D and I find it super elegant and minimal. So I'm really excited to wear it for him. Thank you so much, Annalisa, for sponsoring this video. And now let's get started with the vlog. So these are the washi tapes that I just swatched. I didn't film the swatching process because I got the flu and I was in bed for like a week. So I couldn't really show you me swatching because I was really in pain and sick. But I finally got to swatch them all. I put them in these little bags. They are kind of divided into packs. She asked for five sets. So here is one because it's smaller, two and other two. And this is how I swatch all my washi tapes in no particular order. I just try to switch around the lengths of the washi tapes so it's not just like thick ones in one swatch and then smaller ones in the other. Just try to mix and match to have more diversity. And these are the ones that she requested. And I actually got another order from her in the meantime. So I have here more washi tape swatched these are very random because this is actually a custom bag and on my shop you can actually choose 
what washi tapes you want me to swatch for a custom bag and that's what she asked for so yeah i have all of these here and later on i'm going to put them in a pack and get them ready for the shipping of the package and again my shop is in the description down below if, in case you want to check out what i sell and you can request a custom washi tape sample bag and have total access to my washi tape collection and have swatches of your favorite washi tapes if you don't really want to buy a whole set from a shop okay a quick little break between packing orders i actually decided to film my drying petals process i got these roses from valentine's day for my boyfriend and i saw online that you could dry up flowers at home and save the petals in like a jar or something to just preserve them and use them someday and i decided to try this and the outcome was not the one that i was expecting but the whole process was really fun and i decided to film it for you guys the process that I saw online, which was a very quick one, was to take out all of the petals from the roses and microwave them for like 30 seconds in between plates and paper towels so you could dehydrate the petals and make them thinner. And this actually worked and I feel like it was a really fun process. I did this for all of the five roses that he got me and the outcome was not that good because they turned out a little moldy. I guess I didn't dehydrate the petals to the fullest, so the moist on the petals was still there when I put them in a jar, and so they got a little moldy. So let me know in the comments if you know any better processes of drying flowers for me, because I'm going to try the book one where I put the petals between books, but I think that takes a long time to make them dry. If that works, that would be amazing. Maybe I'll try that. But if you have any recommendations for drying up flowers, that would be awesome. I actually tried this process of drying up flowers because I wanted to use the petals for my wedding one day. So yeah, I got new flowers from him this past week and I'm going to use them in a new process to save them for my wedding in the same jar so i'm really excited for this so if you have any ideas for me to dry flowers let me know in the comments below because i'm really interested i guess that this process works if you're going to use the petals right away in like a craft project or something and this is something that i want to do for my pen pal letters as well and for scrapbooking maybe i do this quick process for some of the petals for that but to save them up for m from a few months i don't think it works so yeah it was really fun this project was fun but it didn't really work out as i planned and so yeah but i had a good time drying up the flowers and now let's get back into packing some orders So I hope you enjoyed this quick little vlog with a little behind the scenes of how I prepare things for my shop. Let me know in the comments anything that you would like to see from my shop because I have my huge stationary organizer to organize and my room to decorate. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Don't forget to check out Anna Louise's website and use my code CATSPLANNER20 for 20% off. 
Thank you so much for watching. Leave a ring emoji if you watched the video until this point, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.